Hello and welcome to another rolling review with Wheelchair21, and on today's rolling review it is Mini Pla Tokyuo from Russia Sentai Tokyuja. The cool thing about this series is it's all about trains, it's all about imagination, and it's all about the rainbow. Now, first off, this made me think of Shining Time Station, just because of all those things alone. I don't know why, it just made me think of the opening, opening of the show back when I was a kid. Anyways, the cool thing about these trains are, well... They're small, they're petite, but yet become a huge, giant robo. And they're led by a steam engine. Yeah, crazy enough, right? A couple of bullet trains and basic uh, diesel car uh, passenger trains. And a steam engine. Something is obviously up with that. And the combination for these are crazy, because, as you can see, like I said, the red one's long as hell, and it becomes the entire torso to the mecha. And when it combines, it's actually pretty freaking awesome. Because it looks like almost like a Star Cruiser, which I think they're probably going to do that eventually, where how it combines, where it links up as such here to form its torso and legs, will one day become an actual, like, starship of some sort. They'll just try to make it that way. They'll shoehorn it in somehow. I don't know why, because it just, the way it links up is so abstract, it's so abnormal, I'm pretty sure I'm about to put it in the wrong hole, <laughs> knock on wood, since there's more jokes to come, <laughs> I said come, anyways, as such, you plug in the, them to several specific holes, and you practically got your entire Tokyo set, and I'm... And I'm betting right now, people are like, huh? How? You still gotta transfer and do all this crazy stuff? Well, unlike the deluxe mecha, yeah, you gotta kinda dislocate blue and green. But, overall, it becomes the mecha. You got your legs here, which actually pop out. They will pop down, make the hip joint, plug right into here, which now is a giant gaping hole between the upper torso. But, overall, Tokyo is still forming. Yes, he is. There's his legs right there. You can see it. You un unplug the back end of the train, pull out this piece to reveal his head. This folds over, folds down, plugs into the back right here. And then the head plugs right in. See? Tokyo is still forming. Fists are out. Pull down the f back end of the train, spin them around. Pull down the back, spin them around, and this is where it gets to the funny kitty immature stuff, because Wang Robo has now engaged in his awesome erectile dysfunction and erection, switching it into the great thing that we call Tokyo. Yep, Wang Robo. Wang Robo. <laughs> Anyways. Tokyo is hilarious because no one knows how is America even going to approach the almighty Wang Robo. I, I, I can't even take this thing seriously, but it has a wonderful design. I feel like the rainbow effect is kind of what's hurting it, I think, because I like the mecha, I like the way it transforms, I like the design. Honestly, didn't see the Wang coming, but, you know, no one saw that coming. No one seriously saw that coming. But... I feel like if they would have gone for, like, a more Jetman-based style with, you know, body mostly having a base color and then where the windows are having the colored stripes, like, blue, yellow, green, red, and uh, pink, would have been a lot better. It would have reminded me more of, um, kind of like the Deco Wing Robo, Icarus, and a few other random mechs that tried to do that subtlety of the colors were just the stripes to define which um, senshi piloted the mecha. But I, I like it. It's really cool. And I can't wait to get Dieselo, Bildo, Safario, even though I'm going to dread that day because it's just Tokyo again as a lion. But nonetheless, the joints are great. You have shoulder, you have elbow, you have wrist, you have hip, you have knee, and you have foot articulation, 
which is similar with mini plot. You have a head articulation, no waist, which is one of the weirder things. However, they replaced the waist with the almighty wang. Yeah, I had to go back to this. I don't know why. I, I, I am being really immature. But, I mean, who else does not get a laugh out of this? I mean, I just know this turned the Toku world upside down because they're like, oh no, no Power Rangers! No! Rang Wobo! Anyways, honestly, when you move the Wang, it actually does have waist articulation. Yes, it does. Which is weird that you have to remove the Wang to get articulation in the waist, and that's just hilarious. Anyways, his saber is an awesome crossing guard saber and gun, which is awesome because it's this weird long, long, uh, long pistol. I, I don't know why it's like that, but it, it, it's cool. I, I think it's interesting that they made it a, uh, long nose, uh, pistol. It's just inter interesting nonetheless. It makes me think they're going to shoot Batman out of the sky like Jack Nicholson did. <laughs> or they're going to shoot out Jet, Jet Icarus, but it's nice, it's awesome, it's pretty big for a Mini Plus Saber nonetheless, I don't, I don't think Mini Plus Sabers ever get that big, really, um, I think it's one of the longest next to Shinkano, Shinkano I think is probably the longest to date when it comes to just having the Mini Plus form in general. It's awesome, it's cool, it has all these features and designs. I can't wait to get the Figuro Mini mini Robo, full action uh, Mini Robo, because that looks amazing, has all great points of detail and paint. Just looks splendid nonetheless. Uh, I really hope, because of the uh, toy scans now, and they've just released um, the Sentai uh, Reshas, I hope they make a Koyujin Resha, because I would like to put that on this. I'd also like to remove the feet and put the... Uh, De Deno Russia in because honestly I hope I really hope they make them because they were featured in the movie and they might feature them in an upcoming episode I hear uh, them using their imagination to use the Sentai Russia and it's supposedly rumored that it will be in their movie that's just rumors right now but it would be great I would like to have uh, Mini Plus Russia um, uh, mecha parts because I really don't want to spend about 40 to $50 just for a Tokyo 60 with shipping, and then spend another 20 bucks just for a nice, cool little Resha, and another 20 just for a Den Liner. And I got this from Pokey Collector on eBay, a uh, friend of mine now on Facebook. He's really cool. Uh, he buys and sells stuff here and there, so hey, you can get some cool Toku items from him on eBay. I will post a link to his uh, eBay auctions. Uh, in my description, but nonetheless, great to have, great to own. Mini Plaza are always a favorite of mine. They're probably the one thing I always look forward to reviewing every year when it comes to Sentai. I try to quit. It's always my peeve where I say on a podcast or I say to my friends in general, I'm not going to get the Mini Plaza this year. However, something always happens and I get drawn back into buying Mini Plaza. Nonetheless, you can get these right now. These are everywhere. They're on AmiAmi. You can probably get them from Hobby Link Japan. You can get them from Hobby Search, CS Toys, and eBay. As for now, this has been Wheelchair21 with the Mini Plot Review for Tokyo. You can find me here on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram is Taja underscore Doyle. You can check me out at Hirotaku and on Raijo Nihon on its plentiful podcasts like more from Bracers, WRW, Toku Anime News, Unicronicles, Ultracast, Otaku Roulette. Anyways, we'll see you next time with another rolling review.